Hey, this is Mr. Eason with Homework Help. We're going to take a look at some different arrays today that we could use for multiplication and division. Um, they should be a review from last year, but I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Uh, and there may be a couple questions on your homework about this tonight. So the first slide we're going to look at is some multiplication arrays, and then we'll look at some division arrays second. Uh, so if we look at the array on the left, you see that we've got some uh, linear pieces going across the top on the side. Across the top, we've got one, two, three. And on the side, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So now what we'll do is we're going to shade in an array that is a three by five. A little difficult to color with your finger on an iPad, but I'm going to do my best here. And we've got this array colored in green. And we can count the number of squares that we have in here. If you didn't know what 5 times 3 already was, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So down at the bottom, we're going to write in a multiplication equation. 3 times, oh, there's already a time sign there. 5 equals 15. All right, so now let's look at the uh, next array. We'll use a different color here. Looks like we have a 4 by 4, so we're going to shade in a 4 by 4 array here. All right, and then we're going to write a multiplication equation that matches 4 times 4 equals 16. So now what we'll do is we'll look at the next version of the arrays for division. All right, so what you're going to notice here is that some of these are already filled in for you. This one has the shading already done, and it has one side of the array labeled. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this for division. We're going to count how many squares are shaded already. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 squares shaded in, okay? So that is what we are going to be dividing up, is we're going to be dividing up 21 things. So that's what we're going to write in our first blank is 21. And then what we're going to do is we're going to notice that there are 7 linear pieces down the side, so it's 21 divided by 7. And then our answer is going to be 3 because that would be the number of linear pieces we would need up on top to make this array. So it would be a 1, a 2, and a 3 up there. Okay? So now we'll look at one more example over here. Uh, we're going to count our number of tiles shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 tiles shaded. We're going to write in 12 here. We're going to notice that we are dividing by 2 because we have a 2 linear pieces on the side. And that's going to be 6 because there would be 6 linear pieces going across the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Um, once again, I want to reiterate, this is a review. Um, I'm hoping students will know this division fact and not need to use an array for it. But we're going to be using something kind of similar when we're doing some larger division problems in the future. And so I wanted to make sure that the students are familiar and aware of how to do this. And on, the, on the last slide, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a couple quick, uh, well, probably just one example of how to do an elapsed time question. Uh, because there may be a couple questions in your homework about that tonight as well. So the last thing I'll talk about in the homework help video is um, a elapsed time question. So we're going to start by reading it. Avengers Infinity War is two hours and 30 minutes long. If Mr. Eason sits down at 740 to watch the movie, at what time will he be finished? So this is one of those questions that is kind of tricky for some students. Um, it's a third grade skill, but it, it, it continues on in the fourth grade, and it's more like one of those um, very real world practical skills to have. And so we're going to look at a quick example of how to do this. Um, I'm going to write down the strategy, but th this would be a strategy that probably most of you all would be doing in your heads. Um, before we start doing it, I want to just really warn against one thing that students will try to do here. I've seen some students try and add these numbers. Um, and adding really just doesn't help here. Um, you know, without getting into too many details, it, it just doesn't work because there are 60 minutes in an hour, not 100 minutes in an hour. So um, what, what the best strategy here to use would be with a, a number line or a timeline. And so I'm going to start one of those real quick. Um, 
I'm going to put my 740 at the very beginning because that's what time we're starting the movie. And what I need to do is I need to add on my 2 hours and 30 minutes. It doesn't really matter if you do the, the minutes first or the hours first. Um, I'm probably going to do the hours first because I'm gonna, I like to make the bigger jumps first. So um, I'm going to jump 1 hour and make it 840. I'm going to jump another hour and make it 940. And now I need to jump 30 minutes. Now, if you feel comfortable jumping 30 minutes right off the bat, you can. I'm going to jump 20 minutes to get to a nice even uh, hour amount. 20 minutes. And it'll be 10 o'clock. And then I need to jump another 10 minutes. And my number line's kind of running out of space here, and that's okay. 10 minutes. And then it's going to be... 10, 10. So I would write down a sentence, Mr. Easton will be finished at 10, 10. So that's just an example of how to do a, an elapsed time question. This should be covering everything on your homework, so I will see you in class. Good luck.